finished up my new trolling motor mod. This is my new Go Plus 55 pound thrust trolling motor. And it was a 36 inch shaft. And I I took six inches off the shaft. Definitely a bigger motor than coming from my uh, Minn Kota CS30. This one has a this one has a three blade prop. trolling motor going through PWM box that I mod that I put together I monitored in a waterproof glass container through some grommets. I have it bolted and uh, gooped into the bottom of the box. Got the box a little bit bigger so I wanted to give it some air. The modulator is mounted inside of a, a mounting box as well. And then I have speed control coming out the back which is waterproofed and I'm going to mount this onto the bottom or rather onto my uh, my tray that I have permanently uh, fixed onto my my transom clips so this should be completely waterproof it's a Sistema box that I got in the local uh, Safeway grocery store and then to Operated, all my throttle control will be coming through this knob right here. So to operate it, put the trolling motor all the way on the fifth power selection. Control the power by this controlling knob. When I turn it on, you can see a light goes on inside the box, and then I control looking at the looking at the prop. It now has variable speed control. I can go literally as, as slow as this. So it's an infinite speed control. All the way up to full speed. Plus 
seems to be a pretty solid unit. It was, uh, the internals look just like my Minn Kota. So it wouldn't surprise me if they use the, the blueprints to build this thing directly from Minn Kota. basically leave it on five all day and I can override that power that speed control at any time even when it's driving if I want to go in reverse I can just switch it to reverse normally So I don't lose any of those functions. But now I have now I have all the advantages of a variable pulse width modulating system. So I should double or triple my power supply of my battery. motor has a built-in power indicator graph on top which I kept connected I don't really need it because I have a battery meter in my box as well which gives me an exact voltage but I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not because this is draining using a little bit more power but I might keep it connected for a while specs on the PWM it's a 60 amp so it should handle all the, the power requirements of the motor and then I'm running this these uh, typical uh, snap-on power clips I believe they're 50 or 60 amps which I've been running for quite a while Interestingly, the red ones I bought before are not exactly the same size as the gray. So, um, fortunately, I was able to switch those over. And then, on top of it, if I ever have a problem with my PWM box, I can, I can connect the trolling motor directly to the battery and bypass that uh, in case of an emergency. Something happens or whatever. So covered. Like I said, this will sit right behind me on the, tr on the transom and then I'll just rest my hand down here to, to control the speed of the trolling motor and then steer as normal. So, that's it for now.